I ate an egg and I literally felt better. And this is no joke. I also thought those ex-vegans on YouTube were crazy. Or how can you feel instantly better from just eating an egg? But now I experienced it myself. I just felt amazing right away after. Within three days, I just had a constant smile on my face. I was so happy. So I had eggs and I cried a lot. It was ridiculous, but uh, after that initial meal, I had no pain whatsoever. I actually felt good after my meal. I felt really nourished and, and satiated. And I remember thinking that to myself and being so annoyed and confused. But a lot of this was in my brain. And I finally, I remember that one day I just like, I woke up and I was like, this is it, this is the day. I cannot take another day of eating vegetables. I absolutely hate them at this point. They seem so just like repugnant to me. And my body was rejecting it all. I would eat broccoli and literally want to like puke because it was just, it was so bad. So I, um, like I said, my family has lots of chicken. So I went into the chicken coop. I got four eggs and I made a four egg omelet. I have a picture of it. I will try and put that up here. Um, I made a four egg omelet with toast and I buttered that toast in front and back and I ate the eggs and I'm not going to lie. It was just like, oh my gosh, that was the first meal. I didn't feel bloated in forever. And I just like, I felt and I know everyone says this, and I used to be like, no, this is such a joke. Like, this does not happen. That's not even scientific. But I literally felt my brain just come back to life. I was struggling so badly with brain fog. It was really hard for me to finish sentences. I was so anxious and just flighty, just like everywhere all day. And I finally felt grounded. Like, I felt like pulled back to earth. And it was such an amazing feeling. I cried, guys. Like, I legitimately cried after eating this omelet. And I think I'm going to cry now about it because it was that powerful of an experience. It was just the final, just, like, release of, like, this is it. I'm finally going to recover. In Costa Rica, I did end up trying some eggs that we got from a farmer's market. Um, because at that time, I was like, I don't want to eat meat. But maybe if I have a couple eggs and I notice any difference, then... Maybe I'll start to include some eggs, some ethically raised eggs into my diet. And I can be kind of like a vegetarian, I guess. And so I, I did that. And boy, oh boy, what the experience that was. So I think he had ended up making like some sort of a soup um, with vegetables. And uh, we were kind of going to do like a, an egg dropped ramen sort of thing. And when I had it that night, he, he had made it for dinner, I just felt this really, really weird sensation in my stomach, like, and my, and my brain, like, this sense of, like, oh, I don't know, it was, like, more sati satiated than I had been in years, because I was used to eating, like, big amounts of food to get myself to be full. Um, but after just one bowl of this soup that had maybe like two eggs in it, I just felt like this buzz going throughout my whole body. And, you know, in my, in my stomach, I felt totally fine. I wasn't getting bloated like I normally did after eating meals. And my brain just felt like, like, just anxiety and like, all of that just like leaving my body completely and I just felt totally calm and zen for the whole rest of the night and I just knew that it just I was just like there's got to be something that I've been missing and I had been taking a vegan multivitamin I'd been taking b12 vitamin d um, omega-3s like the vegan version of omega-3s for years very consistently and that was a very powerful experience and that was just from two eggs some eggs from the shop just outside our house and like i said they're free range organic and so forth and my girlfriend made scrambled eggs she was going to experiment with me and she made the scrambled egg it just weirded me out as you can see in this clip she ate the eggs on her own i didn't eat any of it i was like oh i just can't get over this mentally it's like all slimy it's freaking me out i've got my vegan programming so yeah so i didn't eat any so then she said why don't we make pancakes so she made pancakes and i've had pancakes like this before but with not 
having the eggs in it. And I ate it, it was still a bit weird, but I was able to do it. It's just like when you haven't eaten foods like that for a while, it can be a bit overwhelming mentally. So we hid it in there just as an experiment because I only want to eat whole foods. But this is what I needed to do to slowly ease into it. So I ate just two small pancakes. I hadn't eaten anything else in the day. And guess what happened? I got satiated from two small pancakes. You know how many I'd have to eat if it was a vegan pancake? About 20 or so. And I wouldn't be satiated, I'd just be stuffed where I'm like, oh, I'm just so stuffed, I just don't show me that food anymore. Didn't notice any significant benefits straight away. I've written down a load of them here. But yeah, I know it's a rushing sensation from my body. I used to take certain euphorics that people take at parties that make you feel really good. And it was giving the same sensation as that, which is a really good thing. I started to want it to jump around and play because I was infused with so much life force. My sexual energy went through the roof. I started feeling calm and my mind wasn't racing anymore, being scattered everywhere. And <laughs> you just don't believe, like, <sighs> to actually go from feeling that shit to this is just profound. And I started, it started massively improving my sex life that day. We had some of the most passionate sex possible. It was just absolutely profound. And I felt so grounded and rooted and so strong and vital. Like I have not been feeling for the last three months. And I'm telling you now, guess what? I've never felt like that from a vegan diet. Oh, I felt good on a vegan diet the majority of the time, but never like this. So uh, one thing that I wanted to mention was that I started craving eggs ravenously, like I just wanted an egg yolk in my mouth. Like that's all I wanted. And I went to this one day, I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna try it. Like what? what's the big deal? You know, I was still very stuck in the vegan mindset and I was confused. I still wanted to be vegan, but I knew that my diet was not working for me. I had you know went to school for this i knew if veganism is going to work for you i knew exactly what to eat exactly how to do it i had tried several different vegan diets i you know listened to dr gregor's daily dozen bullshit all of that um so i knew it wasn't working for me anymore i had tried every single vegan avenue that there was i was vegan for about four years and so I was extremely ravenous for eggs one day and I went to this um, restaurant in Toronto called Thrive Organic um, and I ordered eggs. It's a vegetarian restaurant so the only animal product they have is eggs and I think some dairy. I, oh my god, like I can't even explain how I felt after my first egg yolk. This was before I watched any ex-vegan videos. Um, so within five minutes, I asked for the egg yolks to be pretty raw and I just dipped bread in the egg yolks. But within five minutes, my brain started tingling. It was almost like it was dry or there was a hole in my brain that was kind of being nourished or being fused together from this egg and within 15 minutes of finishing both eggs I immediately like <sighs> like just felt a, a rush of relaxation throughout my body that I hadn't felt in a long time didn't realize how tense I was from not eating animal fat um, and the amount of energy that I had that day was insane. Like I immediately felt back to normal. I immediately felt like myself. What I wanted the most, what I craved the most was eggs. And I didn't have an egg for seven years while I was vegan. And on January 1st, I had a few eggs and I really went into it being very open and very aware and receptive because for the whole time I was vegan I was just looking at the science that backed up a vegan diet and I had watched What the Health, read the China study, read how to prevent and rever reverse health heart disease and 
in my mind while I was vegan, eggs were so, so unhealthy and all animal products were. I'm watching all these different people and their experiences. It's very interesting to hear their experiences, but the only person that I really can listen to and learn from is myself. So I'm going to try this out, do a little experiment, see what it's like, what I feel like when I eat eggs again. So January 1st, I ate a few eggs and they tasted really good. I really felt good eating them. I noticed right away that it's hard to put into words. And I know other other people who have who've stopped being vegan have said this, but I'm not it's not just in my mind. I felt a clearness and focus that had been missing for a little while. By the time I had been in uh been vegan for seven years, just there was just kind of like a fogginess in my head. It was just a slight one, nothing too serious, but once I started eating eggs again, I just felt a little bit sharper. And then one thing too, I realized too, like as I am introducing animal products back into my diet, I'm already feeling better, feeling mentally clear. I feel like my muscles are reattaching. I feel like I'm getting younger again. Because for veganism, after the one year, felt great, had energy, you know, but eventually the benefits stopped. Eventually, the superfoods I was eating, the healthy foods I was eating, they, they didn't satisfy me. I was always hungry. I was always looking for the next meal. Like, uh, you, you can see it. Go online. You'll see a lot, how a lot of vegans are always saying, like, how come I'm always hungry? I'm always hungry. Vegans are always hungry. <laughs> I've missed feeling satiated, you know? Feeling satiated. And I think it's when I had eggs, I started feeling satiated again. The eggs combine with my body so well. I think the biggest clue that tells me that veganism was responsible for me feeling like this for so long is the way that my body responded when I started eating animal food again. Basically, I got my dad to get some eggs from chickens that our family friends owned that I knew were treated well and were rescued or something. So I knew that it was like the most vegan, non-vegan food I could be eating. I ate those eggs from someone's backyard and I literally felt like God himself had made them for me. I felt extraordinary. I could feel blood rushing back into my extremities. I felt amazing. And after that, I went to Coles, a supermarket with my dad. And I literally almost broke down. I was like, I need dairy right now. And I literally ran to the yogurt aisle and like got a bunch of stuff. It was, again, really bizarre. But that's how I thought at the time. When I ate those things, I just felt a million times better. Color returned to my face. That morning, I ate quail eggs. And I had like 18. Nah, maybe like 15. 15, 16 eggs. Because quail eggs are really small. And I ate those eggs and i ate it and i was just like man and i made sure i got like some pasture raised eggs because i did my homework you know and i was like made sure they was like you know organic at least the most i could do and pasture raised all that stuff and i ate those eggs and man i felt my spirit go boom like it, it it was like something hit me like a wind just Bam, I cannot describe it. You only know it when you experience it. Man, then it like it was like it was like like a like a like a wind, like a warm wind just went boom over my body. And right after that, it was like a rush of warmth go into my hands and into my feet. I felt my body return to me. I remember my intuition was like, my body literally screamed at me and it was like, we are back.